my only advice, if you remember one thing, it's to be big, be bold, or go home. This is a time for big thinking. I think the idea that education uh, is, a, a, in a sense, the new civil right is one that is widely spread. The fight for education reform is not a technical fight, it's a moral fight. Well, if we're going to win this fight of education reform, we need to stop talking about this in financial terms and start talking about it in moral terms. Top-down funding empowers institutions and enables the status quo. Grassroots funding empowers people. I have always been one of those charter school leaders who believes that one of our primary purposes is to be innovative and to create new models and new designs and new ideas and then to share those and spread those across public education. Why are we all in this except to, to help our fellow men and women, particularly help our kids who are defenseless against bureaucracy, against forces that, that, that deny them their God-given rights? Education policy is only good to the extent it changes education practice. These state legislators, they're bubbling over with ideas. There are lots of things they have to, that they want to do, and they can do them if we get behind them. I think that's the key. I think we all are here because we feel a huge sense of urgency, that there are far too many kids in the country not getting the kind of education they need. We know we have to do something different in education. We know that our kids are worthy of being treated as individuals. If we want young people who develop grit for what they do, we need to help them understand how their place fits into the broader fabric of American society and how whatever they grow up to do, and it can be in the nonprofit or government sector, but frankly, it can be in the private sector as well, has an effect on other people. The industrial economy was a pyramid. You needed a lot of labor in the factories. You needed kind of this middle bureaucratic information processing class. And at the top, you had uh, the, the kind of the creative class, the researchers, the doctors, the entrepreneurs. Do we just redistribute, or do we do the, the, mo the most optimistic thing? And we invert that pyramid. The United States of America is a country in which we are not held together by ethnicity or nationality or religion. We're held together by an aspiration, a belief. You can come from humble circumstances and you can do great things. And the key to making that belief true is a high quality education for every child. We will make no progress. We can give no more tests without delivering opportunities and changing the arc of young people's futures in this country. Governors come and go, legislators come and go, but moms and dads don't. It's one thing to have great ideas. It's even better when you have policymakers who go along with you. Policy plays a huge role in whether or not we can be successful. Some of the policies that are in place are promoting everything that we're doing, but there are some that are really blocking our way. And this is not something that we can do without all of you. We should own this century. There's just, there's just no two ways about it. We've got incredible diversity. We've got innovation in our DNA. And we're trapped in an education system that simply can't produce. What happens a lot of times, students are in a high school, they think they're doing well. It's kind of a seat time based model. It's a diluted curriculum sometimes. And then all of a sudden they get to college and at that point the competency might set in. Or, or maybe the college curriculum is diluted. And then when they go to the workforce, the competence sets in. Uh, so, if you allow those kind of benchmarks and milestones to happen earlier, then all of a sudden it's a lot better for the student. What are the gaps that we need to fill? What, how do we need to be able to think differently? How can we go out of this conference and start talking differently about education reform? Choice, innovation, and transparency have transformed practically every aspect of our lives, and yet our schools remain artifacts of another century. The obstacles in front of us are great, but not insurmountable. We can topple the empire. We can strike back. And to everybody out there that's got a team, tell them to prove it on the field and we'll notice. <laughs> okay. <laughs>